Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for Deltascape version 4.0. This is the fourth and last encounter in the brand new raid made available by patch 4.01 in Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. This fight is all about avoiding mechanics. My name is X Mistech, and I'll be your raid guide. The first thing you may notice is the giant void behind X Death. Throughout the encounter, the boss can channel from this void to empower his basic attacks, altering them in specific ways, so keep that in mind. Doom will mark up two players and will die if they are not dispelled. Blizzard 3 will place AoE circles under players. Move out of these as necessary. Thunder 3 is a heavy hitting tank buster and a large circle on the primary target that will also place a lightning resist down debuff on anyone hit. This debuff can stack up to 2 and I'd recommend a tank swap at 2 stacks to avoid excess damage. Fire 3 will target players with these markers. Affected players will need to move away from others to avoid overlapping damage. All of these attacks are what we consider his basic attacks. Throughout the encounter, he can channel from the void while casting these exact same attacks with the exact same name, only the attacks themselves will be changed by the power of the void. Void Fire 3 will do raid-wide damage and place a pyretic debuff on everyone. Performing any action with pyretic will cause you to deal yourself damage. Stop all actions while you have this to avoid excess damage. Void Thunder 3 is a massive point-blank AoE attack that deals damage, places a vulnerability up, and paralysis debuff on all players hit. You'll need to move out of melee range to avoid this. Void Blizzard 3 will deal raid-wide damage and deep freeze anyone standing in place. Deep freeze will also add another vulnerability debuff on you. To avoid this, players will need to ensure they're moving around during the cast to avoid getting frozen. As you can see, since the names of each attack remain the same, it can get confusing to predict what you're dealing with if you're not paying attention to the boss himself. As such, I'd recommend getting into the habit of double checking if the boss is channeling the void during each attack so you know exactly what's coming. Up next, you'll deal with a Void Blizzard 3 and a Basic Fire 3 immediately after. You'll want to make sure you move around to avoid getting frozen, and then spread for Fire 3 as necessary. The next Thunder 3 is a good place for a tank swap to reduce overall damage. Vacuum Wave will deal raid-wide damage and push all players away from the boss. In this phase, the platform has a barrier around it, so there's not much danger of falling off. Holy will mark up a player with this stack up marker, stacked together to share the damage. When the boss casts the Decisive Battle, he will disappear and a proximity base marker will spawn in the center of the room. Players should move to the edge to avoid excess damage. This abomination will spawn in the center and cast zombification and debuff players in a large cone in front of him. Players will need to make sure that they're behind the boss to avoid this. You'll also notice that the platform barriers have been destroyed. From this moment on, you'll be able to fall off, so make sure you watch your step. Stack together for holy and then get ready for flare. Flare will mark up three players with these spread away markers. Move away from others as necessary. Meteor will do high, unavoidable raid-wide damage and should be healed through. Black Hole will do raid-wide damage as well and spawn a number of, you guessed it, black holes. Standing in these will probably kill lower HP players and places a vulnerability up debuff on you. Essentially, these act as extra obstacles for you while you dodge the usual mechanics. Avoid them as necessary. All of these mechanics will repeat and it's a matter of handling each in turn while staying away from those black holes. Make sure you position yourself appropriately for vacuum wave. You don't want to get knocked off the platform. The next time he casts the decisive battle, he will again disappear and a number of vines will spawn in the center and begin to cast clear out, indicated by these very obvious AOE telegraphs. The proximity base damage marker will spawn in the center and players will need to move to the edge of the platform that is safe of a vine slap. X Death's head will pop up again, facing where everyone is stacked in the safe zone. Players will need to GTFO as quickly as possible to avoid getting zombified. Remember not to get knocked off by vacuum wave and stack for holy as necessary. You've seen all mechanics at this point and it's a matter of handling each one in turn until the boss is down. Remember to watch out for the void modifier on each attack and you'll have him down in no time. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. See you in Savage. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time!